The Ontario Brain Institute, or OBI, is all about doing science differently in order to diagnose, treat, and ultimately improve the lives of people living with brain disorders. One of these is neurodegenerative disorders, which affects people's ability to think, to remember, and to move. The only way we will find new answers is to ask new questions and link A over here with Z over there and accelerate commercialization and patient-centered research. This has never been done in Canada and it's still rare in the world of brain disorders. So let's see what the next generation of research into neurodegenerative disorders looks like. Loss of thinking or memory or day-to-day -day function that can happen usually associated with age is what we refer to as neurodegeneration. You know, within 15 years, it's predicted that one out of four to one out of five individuals will be affected by this. So it may be that Alzheimer's disease, Parkinson's disease, ALS, frontotemporal dementia, vascular cognitive impairment are all um, different expressions of a common tendency for loss of brain cells, loss of brain function, degeneration. Well, if we can understand by studying all of them together and then studying one specific aspect, the change in memory, the change in behavior that can occur with that, maybe we'll find that thread. Right? And so the whole study is designed around looking for that thread. The goals of this program, in five years we hope to be able to understand the interaction among the five disease themes that we are studying and, and detect early recognition markers that might help treat and ultimately prevent some of the diseases that we're studying, all primarily to do with dementia. Well, for me personally, it's been fantastic to have an organization that's committed to making connections among people who are studying neurodegenerative disorders, no matter the age group of the patient. Suddenly, these new links were made for me. People that I knew, but I didn't quite know exactly how much our mutual missions and visions overlapped. You have a, a front line that's more ready to do research and create the future of care, the future of knowledge that we need to prepare for this tsunami of aging that's upon us. And I think um, it will just upgrade um, the whole level of uh, our um, knowledge and expertise and ability to do studies and to translate into better care. Eye tracking itself is a basic technology which uses a video-based camera uh, to look at somebody's face uh, and in particular isolate the eyes from the image and then based on uh, the center of the pupil and reflections off of the cornea you can nail down where the person is looking and the goal is to be able to take those and look for key signatures in those movements that might map on to uh, different types of, of neurodegeneration. So this is the, the eye tracker for the, uh, eye, for the ocular uh, tracking part of the OBI. And so what we're doing is we're, we're tracking the eyes of all the patients where, where they can follow dots on the screen. It becomes a biomarker for the different diseases that we're, we're exploring. It turns out that the, the eye circuitry to move your eyes in the brain covers the entire brain. And so any part of that's disrupted will show up in the eye, eye tracking metrics. Where modern research is going is, is how to take your research findings and translate them and have an impact on society. And as the research proceeds, that's only going to intensify. So it's completely changing how I run my research lab. And the idea now that my research lab is not at Queen's University in Kingston anymore, it's now all over Ontario. OBI is really unique in that way and really outstanding in bringing patient advocacy groups into the fold of research. Um, it engages us more, it helps us understand the research a little bit more, and then we can be part of that um, knowledge translation and that action um, within our own program development and advocacy efforts. If you're interested in learning more about the OBI or any of our programs, please get in touch with us. If you have any particular questions about a brain disorder, we can connect you with one of our partner organizations because the OBI is doing science differently.